So I've been to Chongqing, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven times. I first came here in 2000, so more than 20 years ago, and it's changed a huge amount. And it's amazing to come here now to Smart China Expo and see how China, uh, Chongqing is turning itself into a center for intelligent manufacturing and intelligent and digital businesses. Uh, we've got our pavilion is split into four areas. One is called Digital Transformation is Now. And that's about the British companies that are really good at analyzing uh, data, digitalizing companies to help them become more efficient. Uh, then we have an area which is looking particularly at green buildings and uh, innovation in engineering, etc. We have an area that is called digital empowers life or enables life. And that's all about the things like fintech, education, also gaming as well, the fun things that consumers will see. And then very important and very important for Smart China Expo this year, we have an area that's called technology empowers manufacturing, which is a big area. So, you, so for us, something like a pavilion here is a great way of advertising. But what we really need is to get British companies and Chinese companies talking together. So we have two events that we've set up. One today, which focuses very much on uh, advanced manufacturing and the digitalization of manufacturing. We've got some great British companies. And then tomorrow we have something called UK Now that will look in particular at digitalization, the first part of what I was talking about, but also at greening uh, and the way that technology can help us green. And that will be both an offline activity here in Chongqing, but also an online activity. So we'll be able to be joined by many companies from the UK as well. So we've got companies right across from hardware all the way through to consulting already working here in Chongqing. This time we have 50 companies. So you're right, it's the biggest we've ever had. The ambition that we see within Chongqing to uh, digitalize uh, its manufacturing. But more than that, I think that now what really excites us is the opportunity to work with Chinese companies and British companies together to face some of the big challenges that we face in the world. So I think it is uh, a real opportunity for China and the UK to work for good in certain areas globally using technology. This year there are two really big United Nations meetings that are looking at the environment. You have COP15, which looks at biodiversity in Kunming, and you have COP26, which looks at climate change, and that's actually going to be in Scotland, in Glasgow. And so we are working very closely with China on both of those events, because they are absolutely pivotal if we are going to face these massive challenges. And it's interesting, when I walk around China, I hear people that say there are two big revolutions coming. One is a revolution in energy, and one is a revolution in technology, particularly AI. And put those together, and that is what we need actually to be able to face these massive, massive challenges that we are already starting to see have an effect on our climate and on our daily lives.